In this video, we're gonna be talking about one of the best blitzing concepts in Madden history, and it is known as the loop blitz. Now this loop blitz is a general principle and concept for blitzing, and we're gonna show you how it was really good, especially at the beginning of Madden 23, how it was really good at the end of Madden 22, and how it was good, I think in some other years as well. Um, I wanna say the year that I'm trying to think of off the top of my head was the Madden 25, uh, was really good on the next gen when Madden 25 was out. But this is the loop blitz and the loop blitzing concept. Now, why am I teaching these concepts? This is the fifth out of a four video series or, uh, or fifth out of a five video series and the fifth concept. If you want to check out the rest of the series, it's on the channel. But the reason we're doing this is the foundation of every single good defense in Madden is to be able to create pressure. And so I've kind of whittled down the general ways that you create pressure uh, over the history of Madden to about five main blitzing concepts. And this is the fifth one. The, four, the other four, the first one is the uh, edge pressure. That's like a 4-3 even or nickel over style defense. The next one is a crossfire blitzing. This was really popular in Madden 18 and 19 where people ran the LB cross three show two. The third one is the slot corners. This was very popular this year, which is the dollar DB fire two style, uh, which has been really good uh, for really the last two years. And then the fifth one is uh, contained stacking, which is where um, you would basically stack contains on the edges of the defensive line. And it would create this like disengage uh, style or even consider a loop blitz, but it was kind of more of a disengage style of defense that is designed to dumb out the tackles because the contains and the defensive linemen, the way they interact, it can be very um, advantageous. It was really good this year. It was also really good in Madden 20, okay? So uh, what is the loop blitz and how do I run it? The loop blitz um, is, is really essentially, what we're trying to do is we're trying to take advantage of a crashing in of the defensive linemen, and then we're trying to get the linebackers around. So what you wanna have in any good loop blitz is you really wanna have somebody that has good agility. This is why typically my recommendation is gonna be to substitute in um, as many fast and agile players as you can to run this blitz. And the LB blitz zero out of three, three is what it was good out of this year. Now this blitz has been patched several times this year. So it might not be as effective, okay, as it has been in, uh, at, at points in the year. But generally what we're trying to do, if you look at the blitz angles here, if I pinch my linebackers, you see how we're kind of getting essentially a, a loop stunt style where this guy is gonna crash into the to the uh, tackle and guard, and then this guy is going to loop around the tackle guard. That's a basic idea of a loop blitz. So you're just trying to get them to sunk inside, and then you see how we're gonna either create some kind of, we're trying to basically create confusion with the blitz angles that's the whole idea of a loop blitz so sometimes like even something like this where you spread the line out and we're really trying to suck those guards in to create that loop style pressure as you can see right there now again like i said this blitz has been patched several times okay so it is it's not um as good as it was in this game but as you can see right there that's kind of the idea you create the loop pressure i'll show you how to do it out of other formations as well in just a second uh, but this has been one of the best concepts uh, in Madden for a long time, uh, but really good this year as well. Okay, so that's how you do it out of 3-3. Three, three. Um, another way you could do it is you can sometimes contain, and sometimes the contains, if you pinch your linebackers and contain, it can make this blitz even better. Um, it just kind of depends. You got to kind of test that stuff out every year, but that's how the concept generally works, is you're trying to create that confusion where the lineman crashes inside and the uh, linebackers, if you will, they're going to come around the outside. I'll show you how to do it out of big nickel over G. I actually think it's pretty decent out of big nickel over G. There's two real plays that you can do this out of. Uh, one of those plays is this Mike Strong safety uh, three. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch your line, crash your line down, and then you're gonna zone this guy out. Cause what we're trying to do again, is we're just trying to get this stump between this guy and this guy. So you're standing about right here. You get them to come inside like that. Wasn't able to get the loop all the way around. And again, like I said, they've, they've gone through a lot of measures this year uh, to try to make sure you can't run this blitz. So I might not get it 
you know, every time or any time really. But um, in general, this is the concept. There you see there, he just didn't kind of loop around, but the, the loop was actually there. You can do this out of cover too. I will say that from what I've heard, um, the offensive line is not as good against the loop uh, in Madden 24, okay? So uh, there it is, that's that's that. Uh, let me show you one other uh, formula real quick. And it is actually going to be out of the Baltimore Ravens uh, defensive playbook. And the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook has a couple different formations in the, the Kansas City playbook. One of the formations that it has that I think is really good. And this is there's actually what's cool about 335 odd is there's three different ways that you can run the same formation utilizing three different core blitzing concepts that are really good. The first one was the crossfire, which we talked about. The second one was the disengage style um, of defense or stacking contains, which we talked about yesterday. And then the third one is what we're about to show you with the, with the uh, loop. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift and then we're going to shift. So it puts this guy here. You see how it creates that little stunt. And then now the idea would be that he would loop around um, the, the guys, as you can see right there. That's kind of the idea of this blitz. Now, again, they've gone through extreme measures to patch this. Okay, so I, I, I want to be very clear that, you know, it's not perfect. Um, you might even have to send five to get it a little bit here, but you're trying to basically get that right there. That's a, probably the best loop we've got all day. Uh, but essentially, that's the idea is we're just trying to get this stunt to occur um, we're trying to get the stunt to occur with the line and get that blitzer from depth to loop around uh, the defensive lineman. So that's how you can do it out of 335 odd. I'll show you one other way to do it out of 335 odd. It's a little bit more consistent. Um, this is also, I would say, considered a loop blitz. Uh, so it's Sam Mike 3 press. What we're going to do is we're going to spread everybody out. And what you'll see is it should create this little gap for that there that's what i was looking for it, it creates that little gap for that linebacker who's coming from depth uh to be able to get inside and get some pressure so what you'll see here if, if the game cooperates okay it froze well thanks for watching the video see you guys have a good day